Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our say welcome to the Soto Skin Discovered. Today we're meditating upon the priceless everlasting treasure. Before we start, the scripture talks about this topic. Psalm chapter 119, verse 11. I have stored up your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. Jesus told his followers, your heart will always be where your treasure is. What is our treasure? Our joy is having the top-notch things. Our position in our community or peers. Our possessions to lean on when we don't have our friends, our family, or our kids. Anything we can put more value over others can be considered treasure. We often meditate on what Jesus said, but do we really understand the depth of it? What is in our hearts is what treasure is. So today we need to evaluate ourselves what is in our hearts. Before men, we can cover up what is in our hearts, but not before God. Our God is omniscient, and he knows our true desires. He can measure the human heart. Today, let's bring Christ in our hearts, for he is the word of man, of God, who became a man. Our Lord Jesus told us to be doers of his word. We have been saved and appointed as his children. We have God's promises written in the Bible. The word of God is also set as a guide for believers. Darkness of the world has covered the entire human heart, but the word of God is the light of the Christ that shines in us and through our lives. The word of God can change our lives and the whole world around us. Let's be wholehearted and have his word as a treasure residing in our hearts so that the spirit, soul, and body will work together and be made perfect in Christ, like Christ, and be united. Let's open our hearts to treasure his word and start living in his word. This message also gives promise to the promises. You do not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you go, should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. As close as time, pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you that by the grace I have become your child. I pray that I may abide in Christ and his word abide in me, that in him I will bear much fruit to praise your you and glory in Jesus' holy name, I pray, amen. Have a good day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.